I completed Modern Warfare 3 and I think it might be perfect. I think it's a top 5 COD in Call of Duty and I don't think there's an argument for it not to be. But let's get into it. First things first, if you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy the vibes. Hi, I'm a camel grinder. That's what I do. I camel grind and play multiplayer. Pretty simple. I might do Warzone. We'll see, we'll see. But first things first, today's video is about Modern Warfare 3, how it's not a DLC, and how it's pretty much a 10 out of 10 game, if you really think about it. Including just, just the multiplayer. If you look at the multiplayer, it's actually a 10 out of 10 game. But you don't have to believe me. We're going to get into the details, and I'm just going to yap about it. That's pretty much it. First things first, I want to say thank you to Sledgehammer because Sledgehammer is always cooking. Sledgehammer is always doing what they need to do. They're always cleaning up the messes left behind by Infinity Ward and they're always stuck behind the goaded developers called Treyarch because they live off the hype of BO2 because everyone loves the game and also the niche zombie people really plays the game so that's why um that's why but needless to say, thank you to Sledgehammer because Sledgehammer is always cooking. Um, the camels were great this season, um, the weekly challenges, other things, but I'm going to get into details for all of those. But first things first, just thank you, Sledgehammer. We're going to start off like that. Thank you to them for always just doing what they need to do. Just cooking. Like, I don't know if they've tapped into like a weekly thing. I don't know if that's their idea or Activision's idea, but I've really tapped into the game in recent um in recent time i never really i had other games that i played but this year just something always kept me going back to the game and i don't know if it's an addictive personality or if their marketing or whatever they call it strategy is working so uh yeah hopefully it isn't getting me addicted to the game i'm probably addicted it's too late but um yeah um thank you sledgehammer uh you've cooked this season but let's get into the stuff that I wanted to talk about. So first things first, we're gonna start talking about the camel grind. The camel grind within multiplayer was absolutely awesome. It was amazing. The base camel format is probably the best format that we've ever had. Um, you, get, you do the four challenges and then you can put them on any gun. And then you can unlock your gilded, forged, priceless, and interstellar. And I gotta say, I enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. They put shipment out, I think, a week, but needless to say, Interstellar looked amazing as well. Priceless is currently my favorite, so, but awesome vibe, awesome vibe. And the Borealis grind, it really got me back into zombies. Uh, I was into zombies before, I wasn't really caught up with the lore, but it got me back in, and it was a good vibe. It was a good vibe, just chilling out, shooting some zombies was a good vibe. I also wanted to play the story but that was a little bit too long-winded for me but black ops 6 i will be doing the story so um hopefully you guys enjoy that but the next thing that i want to talk about is the modern warfare 2 weapons now the carry forward seemed like a bad idea at the time and i'm not gonna lie i really thought it was too because originally also for zombies they wanted to do borealis um, not Borealis, but Bioluminescent, and I wasn't feeling it. I just, I wasn't feeling it. I had a couple energies for it, but then it just fell off. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but the carry forward option, as I was saying before, it seemed like it was a bad idea at the time, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It really brought this game together because after, I think they dropped a major patch in season two or 1.5 or one of the, one of those between one point between season one and season three they dropped a major patch bringing some of the multiplayer ars and guns up and it really helped keep the game fresh if i wanted to use a another weapon i could use another weapon they weren't too too competitive some of them were broken but modern warfare 2 weapons were usable they were usable and in probably the most recent version i think they buffed a couple ARs again. Sorry about the skipping guys. I don't know what's going on with my my Elgato. It's just doing Elgato things. But um yeah, they buffed the weapons again and also as you can see here in this ISO 9mm gameplay, it's um it's amazing. It's just it's so fun to like revigorate the game, keep the game fresh. You have so many guns to use and the carry forward if I had to if I know what I know if I you know how to, how to 
that is the same goal. I don't even know how the saying goes. But now that hindsight is 2020, let's just say that. Let's just say that. Hindsight is 2020, and now that the guns have been buffed, I really do think that this carry forward process was a good idea, especially with the skins and all other things. You don't lose your stuff, and I think. I don't know if that proves it was a DLC. It really does feel like a DLC in some capacity because you're carrying your stuff forward and this is the first time it's done it. Hopefully they do that for the Black Ops 6 series that's going to be happening in 2025 if that's if that's real. But needless to say, I really, really enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 weapons being in this game with the revitalization because Modern Warfare 2 was so bad in terms of movement, but I really enjoyed it. So I can't even argue with it. But Let's get into the weekly events on Modern Warfare 3. The weekly events were something that I really look forward to, and it, it just brought the game together. Post-launch stuff and weekly weekly um, events were pretty much the bread and butter. I was always looking forward to the camos, the event that they placed there. It was just awesome. It just gave me something to do every week. And we'll talk about aftermarket parts in a, in a bit. Uh, but let's stick on the weekly challenges. The weekly challenges, um, I wish they stuck with the format um, of having people do specific things for the camos. And then you unlock the mastery camo like in Modern Warfare 2. That's probably the only thing I really did like where you had to use a gun in a different way or get headshots. So, but needless to say, the XP event because some people maybe don't do the challenges because I think um, I think the Treyarch people were talking about how most people don't do the Easter eggs. So I'm assuming what happened was most people weren't accessing the amazing camos in Modern Warfare 2 by doing the specific challenges and there was a specific mastery challenge. So I think they decided to switch to a XP based version where if you just play the game, you get the camo. And you know what? I do think that's an amazing amazing feature i think it's amazing that they decided to take that route because pretty much now everyone can get the camel if you play the game a lot you'll get it quicker if you don't play the game if you take a slow route you you may get it you have like six you have a week so if you hop on like maybe every night by the time you hop on you'll get the camel but i gotta say it's pretty interesting it's pretty interesting that this weekly events were completely awesome and i gotta say i loved it i really did like it um it brought me back to call of duty just to see the new concepts see what they had um the dlc stuff was amazing as well i just i'm kudos to sledgehammer for cooking up some masterful uh weekly challenges or weekly challenges and weekly events just shout out to them but let's get into the aftermarket parts that are dealing with weekly challenges and i gotta say the most recent the most recent one man the Jack Vault Storm is amazing. And I gotta say, who, who really thought? Originally, I thought it was gonna be terrible because um, it's it's the it's the side side ender. Who thinks the side ender is gonna be good? Or however you say that. I don't know what you I don't know how you I don't know how you say it. But originally I put it on in shipment. It's a very gimmicky gun, but it's just so good. It's just so good. It's so fun. It's something new. I heard it's broken in Warzone, and we'll get into Warzone a little bit later in the video because I do have something I want to tell you guys or new or new people if you want to subscribe to a different channel. But needless to say, I really enjoyed the every week. I was looking forward to the aftermarket part. If there wasn't an aftermarket part, like at the end of the season where you get the blueprint. Usually, I'd be really reluctant to do it, and I'd be showcasing the camo, but the aftermarket part was what I was always looking forward to, just seeing if it was good, seeing if it was new. Most times, it was pretty usable in multiplayer if you were using it in shipment, or if you just wanted to sweat with it, you couldn't do that, but it was just amazing. It was always amazing to use an aftermarket part kit, and I think it's probably one of the best things that they've added to call of duty they should continue that because it gets people to come back weekly i think people will understand that the retention of i don't know i don't know the data but the retention of this game on wednesdays i'm pretty sure it's through the roof because of this like i don't like i'm fundamentally don't know how i'm gonna play um uh 
Black Ops 6 without like a weekly event. Like it's gonna be weird to me. But they said they have some stuff cooking, which I will get into in another video. But I really enjoyed Aftermarket Park Kids. So uh, I, I gotta say that. I really enjoyed it. I think it's an amazing feature that they drop. I'll drop my favorites in a couple of days. Just detailing my favorite Aftermarket Park Kids. And yeah, but that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the vibes. Also, if you made it this far, I have a new channel starting that's going to be specifically for Warzone. Um, not any camel grinding stuff because there's a camel grind for Black Ops 6, but it will be starting for Warzone. I'll drop it right here. Go subscribe to that channel. It's amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like Warzone, if you made it this far, subscribe to that channel. I'll be dropping videos every other day, hopefully. Just I'll get on a pace. But our first video is definitely going to be that broken aftermarket park kit but thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and enjoy the vibes well you do i i, I did hopefully you guys do but you know check out these videos don't don't mind me check out these videos here like comment subscribe and do your thing